Greetings, Ashen here, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. Today I will be unboxing some He-Man action figures for you, or Masters of the Universe. Um, I don't own any of these, and my daughter does love the He-Man series. She watches it sometimes. I figured I would try it out and see if she liked it. So when we were over at Target, I found these on the shelf. They were $15 a piece, which is a great price. You can't get secondhand figures at that price generally. And so I was like, well, might as well pick these up here and, uh, you know, just get them fresh out of the box. So anyway, this series I've been looking forward to just because I heard about this. They look like the classic He-Man action figures, but slightly upgraded. They have some joints and stuff like that. And they have the comic books in the back. I did um, cut these open around the side, so this isn't going to be uh, taking a million years to do. Aside from that, though, I haven't pulled anything out yet. Okay, so where do we get started? Let's take a look at this little comic book that comes with the figures. That's pretty cool. I like that. It reminds me of uh, back in the day. He-Man used to come with a comic book too. This one's actually got a bit of damage on it. So if we're going to use one to flip through, I guess we'll use this one. Got a nice little He-Man story going on here. I love the art. It's really cool looking. This is not the classic comic book. This is uh, something new that they have put together. But yeah, there we go. Next up we have the various weapons. They seem to have the ability to hook on in the back here. Or for some reason they have this. I'm not certain why. Um, Mumra's staff, of course, which is really cool. And then... Uh, over here we have He-Man Shield, and we've got his sword, which also appears to be able to hook on, and then the battle axe. So that's really neat. Uh, let's see, the quality of these figures, um, they feel light. They don't feel as heavy as they used to. We got this in the back, so I guess he can wear his weapons on his back the joints let's see wow he's very flexible unlike the old he-man figures the uh everything can really move on him got the arms the hands can turn joints everywhere um even the feet are jointed. That's pretty crazy. So I wasn't expecting this to have quite so many joints to it. But uh, it's pretty neat. <laughs> oh, man. Um, let's see about Mumra. Can you do the Macarena too? Yeah, you can. Moves, moves everywhere. Moves his hands. Can do the splits. Oh, my goodness. These are very articulated little figures. Right here, even in the uh, feet, you can see his webbed feet. I don't remember the old figure having webbed feet for certain. So I don't know if that's new or what's going on or if uh, it's just been too long. It's really it's really quite neat, though. Um, this is a nice upgrade from the old back-in-the-day figures that could barely move. Um, they don't feel as sturdy. I don't know if it's the difference in plastic or if it, if they're just cheaper. I don't know as far as the material. You Oh my god, the head. The head can even move around on these things. That's pretty insane. Um so yeah, uh 
these feel light. I don't necessarily know that that means that they're actually made out of cheap plastic or not. I'm going to let my kid play test these for a while and I'll let you know how they hold up. <laughs> Maybe over on Twitter or something. But um, if I was collecting these, I would be really happy with this because this is quite awesome. I don't really collect toys too much. I got a few in my case down here. That's about the extent of it though. That's like everything. And some of this is my wife's as well. So, um, yeah, these are for my daughter to play with, uh, so she can have her own He-Man adventures like I had when I was a kid. But if I was a collector, I would be very satisfied with these, how they come with so many accessories, and there are so many freaking joints in these things that is quite incredible. These comic books are neat too. This one is a bit damaged, as you can see, so you gotta watch out for that, I guess, if you're somebody who's collecting for, uh, value because this is definitely something that could bring down the value if one of the issues is uh, pre-damaged on the inside. But uh, not all of them are like that, as you can see. This one's in good condition. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you came here and found what you're looking for, and I hope you all have a great day. Yes.